Here's the finished product of the tube that we're building today. You can see through it both the traps. It's deadly on order. It's going to be a very fast packed video. We didn't want to make it very long. So if y'all need to go back, rewind the video, pause it, do so, and hopefully it helps y'all make one of these traps. So without further ado, we're going to start. Me and my brother Brady designed this trap several years back and we've caught plenty of water with it. I know a lot of y'all wanted to see it, so we're going to show you exactly how we do it today. Uh, this is actually one of the traps that we've already had made. I just disassembled it to show you all step by step of how we do it and how quick that it, it really is. So to start with, this is C900 PVC piping. It's 12 inch in diameter. I understand that not everyone has access to it. I didn't myself. I personally asked people um, in construction on different jobs and was able to uh, get leftovers. You can find maybe on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, just have to look for it. Um, there's other things that would be similar that will uh, work just as good, but this is what we like to use. So to start with, I always like my tube to be 24 inches. It makes it easy to center things and it's plenty long enough. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter. That's just what we like to do. So first step is I like to put these uh, square tubing. It's inch and a half uh, square tubing. They're 18 inches. I cut them. It doesn't matter if you want to cut it longer, shorter. One's a little longer than the other but I have these cut 18 inches. Uh, it stabilizes the trap, it makes the trap a little heavy, but in our area it floods a lot and sometimes I'm not able to get over there in time. So a lot of times the tube won't go very far and I'm able to retrieve it when the water goes down. So we're gonna start by putting these on. I also have an, uh, an eye bolt on one side and that's so we can connect our conibear to it. Um, in later steps you will see that but you can also weld a loop on there if you want whatever works it's just to connect the trap to it so everything stays connected to the tube so we're going to get our pieces here these are quarter inch by two and a half inches we're going to lay our pipe down and we're going to measure in four inches you can see where I have the hole there in four inches. The other side is the same as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly level in there. I just like taking a pencil, roll it down. Most of the time it'll stop, you know, in the, in, the, in the center. I make a mark and then I drill a quarter inch hole. So after we do that, we're gonna set this up. We're going to run this two and a half inch bolt down there and I put a big washer on the top for on the inside of the tube. We're run that washer on the inside. We're going to grab this. I run lock nut washers on the outside. So run this through there. Get it on. Put our lock nut washers on. We're going to get our nut. Tighten it the best I can. I'm taking an impact. straighten it up a little bit. We're going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. We're going to take our tubing. I like to make sure the eye bolts are on the same side. So in this case, we're going to put it to my side. We're going to run our bolt back through again. Just like that. Grab our lock nuts. Put them on there. and tighten it the best we can. Grab our impact back. We're gonna tighten it 
find it. So now we're going to make sure those are straight. So now that we've got that, it should sit stable. It's sitting on the eye, eyelids on the bottom here, so on this table, it's not going to sit completely level, but in the water it will. So now that we got that, it stabilizes the trap, uh, muddy bottoms, and anything in the creek, it's going to sit level. So the next step is going to be to put our handle on. You can buy these at Menards or anywhere, really, any hardware store. They're just a cheap handle and we're going to grab our trigger that I've already had made up or not our trigger our uh, our bait hook that we're going to put in the center of this this tube I already have it made up just so the video is not so long for you all this is eighth eighth inch all thread I bent it in the shape of a hook you make your smaller bigger I put a little point on mine I have a nut on there with a little washer and we're going to put that in the middle of the tube. So as I said before, this tube is 24 inches, which makes it easy. Center is 12 inches, so you're going to grab your pencil, put you a mark at 12 inches, which I've already got here, obviously. And then I like to take this. It doesn't have to be exact. I just eyeball it, put it there in the middle. Eyeball it over top and mark these out as you would and you're going to drill all these holes at the same time. These are quarter inch holes. This is an eighth inch hole where the all thread goes up through the center. So we're going to put the all thread in first so you don't have to work with it underneath of your handle. So we got our, our nut and our washer down a little bit probably about half an inch. That just allows enough to stick up through the top to put another washer and nut on the top. So we're gonna grab that. We're gonna stick this on the inside. Bring it up through just like that. Put our washer on. Put our nut. I'm gonna tighten it real quick. So now I've pretty well got this all the way tight. I like to leave my hook facing out this way. I usually like to hook a fish on there and it'll sit more sideways. Um, the otter and stuff are able to see it better. So now that we got our hook in there, we got it tightened on the top of the trap. We're gonna grab our handle. We're just running inch bolts through it. We're gonna slap that one in there. If they don't want to go in, you can them. Now we have a washer. We're running a washer in the bottom. Sometimes it's easier to flip this tube up. We'll put the washer on there. We're going to hand tighten it the best we can. We're going to run this little impact on it again. So now that we got that one tight, we're going to flip it over. We're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to take our washer, run it on there, take this nut, run it on there, use our impact. Now that we got it tight. So now we have our bait hook in the middle. We have our handle on. We got our metal tubing on the bottom to stabilize it. So next step is to put slits in the side for the trap to slide in. I do recommend putting the bait hook on first, as I said before, that way you're not working underneath of your handle. So now we got the trap pretty well set up. We're gonna take it over here. I like to leave it set up and down. This is probably the hardest part you have to use your art, artistic skills if you have any, I don't. So we're gonna put it up like this. We're gonna kinda eyeball it, make sure the trap's in the center. You can move these anywhere. I like to kinda leave mine hanging down where a little bit. So we're gonna hold it there. It 
should fit on all corners, so we're going to make a mark. So now that we have a mark where it goes, we're going to get our quarter inch bit again. We're going to measure down three inches and we're going to drill a hole. So we got both our holes drilled on both sides and we're going to take our pencil and we're going to draw from our mark on the top here down to this hole. As you can see, I've already done. So we're going to kind of draw just a, just a slit in there. Um, we can take a little more out if we need. You want the trap to fit fairly tight so it doesn't have any wiggle. So we got this one drawn out too. We're going to get it cut out and then we'll see how the trap fits and we can always take a little more. So we're going to get that cut. Okay, now that we've got our slits cut in the side and they're not perfect by any means. I drew them, hacked them up, our trap bends to fit in there, fits good, you can move it over a little bit if we want, but it fits tight, there's no, there's no wiggle in there, so that's exactly, exactly how we want it. So now we're going to flip it over, do the same thing to the other side, and it'll be just back complete. Okay, now we got all the slits in there. These are fitting great. I'd like to show you guys, I like to run an S hook on the traps in these. It keeps uh, the pressure off the, the triggers on here, or your safeties, I should say, that are clamping your springs. And it also lets you, allows you to mess with it and this trap's not, not gonna go off. When you go to set it, these hooks will come right off just like that. But I like to leave them on there just as an extra safety. So we're going to go ahead, put these in. See how it slides all the way back. This is completely inside the tube. Now we're going to take this little link chain here. You can see we got our trap already through it. We're going to put it inside of that. I lid. This thing's all rusty. I've been used a time or two. We're going to tighten it up. So now, if anything's able to get in this, to get in it, and it comes out or anything, it's always chained to this. Even when the water gets high. It's not going nowhere. So we're going to do the same thing to this one. We're going to put this one in there. Fits great. You can move them around however you'd like. I'm going to connect our, our chain over here to this side. Alright, so now that we got that done, the trap is complete. It's ready to go. We got both traps in there storing these things. I just leave these traps in there all year round and it's always ready to go. These things will last a lifetime and they're very effective. So I wish you all best of luck out on your trap line. Uh, make sure to check your state regulations here in Missouri. This has to be pretty well all the way underwater. Um, I don't know, some of your all states may be different. The, they're very effective on order. I know we built this pretty quick, but I didn't want the video to be too long. Um, so it's packed full of information. If y'all have any questions or concerns still, shoot us a message. Um, give us a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know how y'all are doing. So until the next one, best of luck out on y'all's trap line.